Hello everyone and welcome to a review for Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. I have seen the movies. I think there's one movie out that I have not seen. Let me actually Google that. Now that I'm thinking about it. Jurassic Park movies in order. Okay. Okay, so looking up the movies, uh, Jurassic Park, the movie Jurassic Park that is based on this book, was released in 1993. Now, this is a duology, so written by Michael Crichton. The next book in the series is actually The Lost World. And the movie The Lost World was released in 1997. I have seen that. I've also seen Jurassic Park 3, which was out in 2001. Jurassic World in 2015 and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom 2018. Did I see that one? There is also Battle at Big Rock. I have not seen that, which came out in 2019. And uh, Jurassic World Dominion in 2022. Fallen Kingdom. No because it looks like Malt Mark or Jeff Goldblum is in that and I have not seen that one. So I have seen a couple of the Jurassic Park movies, but obviously not all of them. I do want to go back and rewatch them. I love the movies, at least the ones that I have seen. So I want to go back and rewatch from Jurassic Park and then catch up and watch all of them. So, all right, let's go ahead and move on to this. So Jurassic Park, written by Michael Crichton. This is a mass market paperback, and this was originally published in 1990. So I was less than 10 years old. I remember being in first grade, I believe it was, when we went from 1989 to 1990, and I thought that was such a big deal and such the coolest thing. Anyway, all right, so this book, um, there are some major differences but I think the basic plot and character stuff is pretty close to the book. Uh, I am my own personal thing. I do prefer to watch, I have found, I think I do prefer to watch the movie or the TV show before the book. That's not always realistic, but I think that's my preference because then my yeah, you knocked that over. That's what happens. Anyway, um, I'm not, I always know there's things that are going to be omitted, but I'm not going to be disappointed because I know that things that are going to be added and omitted in the movie are done for theatrical element and things like that. Um, but if I were to read the book before watching the movie or the TV show, then I'm disappointed to see certain scenes that I love in the book that have been omitted. So I found that that's, Credit. This is Christine. Hi, Christine. It's Melissa. May I give you an account number? Go to ahead. Set a limit. Yeah. 216-808-5935. Okay, I'll get that set. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. So I have realized I think that is my preference. Anyway, moving on. So, you have a couple of different POVs on this. Some of them that we know are the same stuff. So, all the characters in here, I think, are in the movie. Anyway, um, as far as where this takes place, it does start out in Costa Rica. You also have some of this taking... Most of it takes place off the coast of Costa Rica. Some of this takes place in New York, some of it in Montana, and some of this in San Francisco. As far as the characters go, there are some differences. For example, I will say this. Um, there is one character that's depicted at a certain age in the movie, and there's a different character that's depicted younger than the other character. Um, but in the book, it's reversed. So, but again, creative licensing, there are going to be some differences. One of the characters that I kind of liked in the movie is actually a pretty rotten guy in this. There are some deaths in the book that are not in the movie. 
as well. So I did listen to the audiobook along with this. The audiobook is on standard one time speed is 15 hours and 11 minutes. I listened to this on Ever and used to be scribed. Uh, Scott Brick is the author. So this one, there's, oh, what is the guy? I, why can't I remember him? His, in the movie, he's the old guy, Grant. No, Grant is the archaeologist. Crap. What's the... All right, let me pull up Jurassic Park here. Because it'll have the name of the characters. Let's see. Jurassic Park cast. Um... John Hammond is the one that is creating this world. He's very secretive of it at first. Doesn't want people to know. He's looking for certain information, like one of the information with the dinosaurs that he's looking for or the sap and stuff like that. Um, is, he wants stuff from colder climates, so he's avoiding places that tend to be a little bit warmer, like... Uh, there was the Utah Raptor. There are raptors in this, but they are not Utah Raptors because in the book, they don't get anything from Utah. So, although, because I think the Utah Raptors, if they weren't isolated just the Utah area, they were in like the areas surrounding that can actually get pretty warm. So, anyway, I just found that interesting. So, he's creating this theme park that's like a zoo, but it's dinosaurs couple of things you do need to be aware of. It does get graphic at times. Uh, so I would say kind of body horror. Um, it does get explicit, especially when it comes to the death of a infant child. And I'm talking like a couple days old. So do be aware of that. That was very unsettling. Uh, you have a child that is hurt by the dinosaurs. Again, it's dinosaurs. That's just how it is. Okay. So they go, they pull in, uh, there's this concern if this is going to be a legitimate thing, if it's going to be safe. Obviously, they pull in Ian Malcolm. They pull in Ellie, S Ellie Sattler, uh, Dr. Grant, Alan Grant. Um, there's a lawyer. And they... They are there to basically grade it and say, yes, this is going to be a good thing or you need to shut it down type of thing. And obviously the character of John Hammond is very much fighting to have this thing opened. And he turns out to be a character that's quite different from the book. There are some similarities. It starts out pretty similar, but then things start to change. As conflict, you tend to see people's true depths. So multi-POV. Okay, so this particular book is 448 pages. You do have, like in the movie, you have the same thing where someone is bribed to take something off of the island of the dinosaurs and give it to someone else so that they can basically create their own version of it. Engine, I believe, is what it is that's mentioned in this, and it's the same in the movie. Anyway. Okay, so trigger warnings, as I said, you do have body horror and the death of a child. Okay, let's move on to the words. Everyone knows what Jurassic Park is, or at least the majority of people watch the movie, enjoy the book. <laughs> it's Just think of it as, as people inspecting a zoo, but instead of lions and tigers and bears being the most dangerous animal, the most dangerous animal are dinosaurs. Tyrannosaurus rex, Velociraptors, whatever these little things are that are like, I think of them as little mini Tyrannosaurus rex, <laughs> but they're little teeny things. I don't remember the word they're called. And that stuff goes over my head. Okay, let's talk about the words in case you're still on the fence for this. The word hell comes up 60 times. The name God, 36. Jesus, 30. Ass, once. Damn, uh, 59 times. The name Christ comes up 19. Goddamn, 5. Uh, shit, 8 times. Bastard, 12. Bitch, 6. Bullshit, once. The word rape comes up once. And it's just mentioned, like, so-and-so was raped, could have been raped, or something like that. So it's not, does not get explicit or anything like that. Uh, the words asshole comes up once and penis comes up once. 
Uh, you do, it's, at least the first half of the book, the movie stays true to the book. There are some differences, but the further on in the book that you get, the more the differences you see between the book and the movie. So, I say their, their own thing, and both are great. Let me know. Have you seen Jurassic Park? Have you read the book? If you have seen the movie and read the book, which format is your favorite for the story? I'm kind of seeing them as two completely different things. I loved the book, and I love the movie. So, for me, I have no preference. Let me know. Talk to me in the comment section below. And until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book, and I'll talk to you later.